Al Bell is a businessman. He has inspired and produced entertainers who have touched millions. His illustrious career continues as he discovers and celebrates new talent and finds innovative ways of bringing music and joy to people everywhere. As you have seen in the video, Al was a pioneer of American music as an executive, a record producer, a songwriter, and a visionary. He has been a major influence on the recording industry and on the lives of many in the Arkansas area and in America. As an entrepreneur, he has overcome significant obstacles and hardships. Through adversity, he has persevered and overcome. Recently, Al has been involved in the making of a new documentary film about the soul of American music. The film, Take Me to the River, follows the recording of an album featuring legends from Stax Records and other Memphis musicians. Those musicians are shown as they work with and pass on a musical legacy to artists and performers of today. In talking about the film, Al has said, it's not about the past, it's about the future. I am happy that the selection committee chose to recognize the business of music this year. And I am pleased that the committee started with Mr. Al Bell, an unsung hero in the music business. Mr. Bell. Well, I ask you, creator of the universe, to let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. I profoundly thank you, the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame Selection Committee. Thank you. To President Donald R. Bobbitt, Chancellor G. David Gerhardt, and Dean Eli Jones. In 2011, the National Association of Recorded Arts and Sciences, NARIS, gave me their Grammy Trustee Award for Lifetime Achievement. You cannot imagine how humbled and honored I was to receive that award. And people continued to marvel about it all around the world. What a great achievement. But let me be absolutely clear with you. There is nothing sweeter and more precious and more humbling than being recognized and awarded like this at home tonight. Being inducted into the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame is the highest point of my life. It can't get any sweeter than that. I thank you. I love you. And I thank you. My source of inspiration for what I have achieved in life and how I live my life was born and bred right here in the state of Arkansas. 
what we were taught at S.A. Jones High School in North Little Rock, Arkansas, still remains in me today. Good, better, best. I shall never rest until my good is better and my better is the best. My Arkansas experiences and learnings became the tools that formed and supported my mission in life. My personal mission statement is to build the best, most comprehensive, God-inspired recorded music, video, cinema, theatrical, communications, and entertainment business complex the world has ever experienced for the express purpose of promoting and applying the principles, precepts, practices, and universal laws of the Word of God, the creator of this universe. I am a servant business leader. I am a servant leader. That's who I am and that's what I am. During the mid 1960s and into the 70s, I observed violence and unrest in too many people's conduct attitude and thinking. I heard resonating within me, the solution is love. The solution is love. So put the spirit of love in the music, Al Bell. And I did that. I know a place. Ain't nobody crying. Ain't nobody worried. Ain't no smiling faces lying to the races. I'll take you there. It's a state of mind. It's how you think. It's about the spirit in you. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. After the Watts Rebellion in 1965, in 1972, we took that music filled with love and put 112,000 people into the Los Angeles Coliseum and kept them there from mid-morning until late at night and we did not have one single act of violence. The love in the music brought the people together. Stax recorded and marketed a popular album on Reverend Jackson using his iconic litany, I am somebody, as the title of the album. We helped increase the awareness of his organizational movement, people united to serve humanity, push. People united to serve humanity. Reverend Jackson saw unnecessary lives being lost because of a lack of self-image, self-respect, and economic murkiness. He addressed self-help and encouraged our youth to stand up and be proud American citizens. I am somebody, proud American citizens. Plato says music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, 
flight to the imagination and life to everything. Music, Plato. Music, music, music. As I complete my remarks, I wish to share with you the last verse of a three-verse poem written by Edgar A. Guest and given to me by my godfather, Winthrop Rockefeller. It has served me well throughout my life and my business career. And it continues to inspire and motivate me today. In fact, I live it. It is titled, It Couldn't Be Done. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure. There are thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done and you'll do it. So be it.